With at least two billion stars in our universe, somewhere in deep space there are probably planets with civilizations built by living creatures, some peaceful, some warlike. From the distant Sapphire Galaxy, a ferocious race of creatures have set out to conquer our universe, beginning with the planet Earth. A nuclear war is imminent the results of which will poison even the distant reaches of outer space and planets such as this one, the Emerald Planet. Though they are fierce fighters when it comes to defending and protecting their way of life, the Emerald Men in the Marpet Galaxy are essentially creatures of peace. They realize, however, that the Sephirians' mad idea of conquest now threaten their very existence, and drastic steps must be taken to prevent this dangerous act of aggression. The High Council of the Emerald Planet is now deciding what must be done. The Emerald Men realize the assaulting force which the Sephirians are sending earthward represents their finest legions and their entire arsenal. If this force can be destroyed before a nuclear war can begin, then the universe will be safe. The High Council agrees that there is only one way the Emerald Men may be able to achieve this. The scientists of the Emerald Planet have invented one of the most ingenious mechanisms the universe has ever seen. Called a globe meter, it is carried on the wrist. It enables the wearer to do three things. To fly through space, to detect radioactivity, and to speak and understand every language on the planet Earth. Finally, this great forum of the Emerald Hierarchy reaches a decision. In order to save Earth from the invasion of the Sephirians, they once more must present the globe meter to one of their fellow creatures and send him to Earth. He is the creature known as Starman. Starman's globe meter warns him that he is nearing a Sephirian invasion ship, laden with weapons of deadly radioactivity. Starman realizes that the ship contains enough radioactive material to destroy Earth within a few seconds. He knows that even though he may be killed, he must attack the ship. 